Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be making circuit building blocks. To illustrate the concept, I started off by creating this sketch. As you can see, there are six different kinds of blocks. A block with a switch, a block with a motor, one with an LED, a block with batteries, and two differently shaped wire extension blocks. Magnets on the sides allow the blocks to stick together and connect the circuit. My objective for this project was to learn more about electronics because I find that I personally learn and retain knowledge better when I actually make a project based on what I want to learn. So at first I was under the impression that this project would be a simple and straightforward one. But, as you'll later see in this video, I may have underestimated how complicated electronics can be. So using the sketch as my starting point, I began 3D modeling each of the boxes. I then printed them out. So as always with these kinds of projects, some of the parts had to be adjusted and reprinted because either they weren't holding the components properly or the components just weren't able to fit in them. So once I was done adjusting and reprinting and was happy with how the parts came out, I began with assembling the boxes. I started off by assembling the battery box. I used these repurposed springs to create contact points between the magnets and the batteries. So at first I had five 3 volt batteries stacked in a box not realizing that when you stack batteries like that, it increases the voltage. I soon started realizing this after burning out my 3 volt white LEDs and a tiny 1.5 to 3 volt motor that I had purchased. So basically, I'd created a 15 volt power source and completely fried my components. But for some strange reason, the red LEDs that I had purchased for my previous project didn't burn out even when I hooked them up to the 15 volt power source. If anyone has any idea why the red LED survived and the white one died, I'd really like to hear your theories in the comments section. As far as I remember, all the specs of the white and the red LEDs were the same except for their color but there might be something that I'm missing here. I also later learned that you are supposed to connect a resistor to the positive lead of an LED to protect it from fluctuating current. After removing two batteries from the box and replacing the small 3 volt motor with a 6 volt motor, I attached a 330 ohm resistor to the LED and then connected the circuit. I quickly realized that now the motor no longer had enough juice 
to work alongside the LED. So for simplicity's sake and because the LED seems to be surviving even with the high voltage, I opted for the sketchy and incorrect option, sans resistor. Hopefully as I learn more about electronics, I will be able to make a proper circuit with an LED and a motor in them with resistors and everything that I need. With the battery box assembled, I then moved on to soldering. I soldered wires to the leads of the motor, LED and switch. I created these metal contact points by clipping the ends off these male spade connectors and then soldered them to the ends of all the wires. These will help the wire extensions and components make full contact with the magnets. After I was done soldering, I covered the soldered joints where the component leads are attached to the wires with heat shrink. I then continued assembling the other boxes. These clips are what hold the metal contact points against the magnets. I glued a small piece of foam into this groove so that it would grip the metal contact once the clip was screwed in place.
So at some point I ran out of tiny 2mm screws and had to drive around to multiple hardware stores to try and find screws that would work for my project. I ended up using three different kinds of screws for the project. And I still didn't have enough screws to go in all the mounting holes. But luckily the covers could still be secured efficiently with fewer screws. Here is the final result. It may not be a very stable circuit, but I certainly like how it turned out, and I did learn quite a bit while making it. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!